Has a girl thrown up on your penis during scene? I've been thrown up on. I've been shit on. I look down. There's a fucking tootsie roll on my belly. <laughs> Wardrobe screams fatherless. We have more trust in that top side than people. How was your relationship with your father? Just saying, why did you get the attention you wanted? You need Jesus. That's offensive. Let's Welcome go. back, my offenders. It is that's offensive in the building. Capital OF. Ryan was like, I didn't know that the OF standard for OnlyFans literally till today. He got the <laughs> reference, and I'm like, yeah. Only fans is offensive as <laughs> shit. Yeah, no. No. Offensive. So this is Spencer or Damon. Depends. I'm Spencer when I have my clothes on, I'm Damon when I'm naked. Okay, got it. Yeah. And this is Ariel or Honey Bear? Yes, Ariel with my clothes on, and then Honey Bear with my clothes off. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start off with, so I'll just call you Damon for the sexual question. Let's do it. Offensive questions of the week. Um, do you have a vasectomy? No, I do not. So do you only fuck girls who have um, birth control? Unless I'm pulling out. Pulling, have you ever gotten a girl Ooh. pregnant? I haven't, that I know of. What if you have little kids running out there? There are some porn babies running around, so like it is on my mind, but so yeah. far so good. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying we got some wood here. <laughs> so do you plan on having kids? Eventually, yeah. So how would you have a conversation with them that daddy does porn? Uh, well, probably by the time I have kids, I won't be doing porn. So it'll be like, daddy used to do porn. <laughs> but with, with me, I'm sh like, I'm sure I'll have a daughter. So that'll be a little more difficult. Would you let your daughter do porn? Oh, man. I can't answer that. I don't, I would, well, I, I mean, you can't say like, no. I, I don't want her. Yeah. I don't, I wouldn't you want her to, but she again, did it, like it'd be hypocritical. If you it, were like, it would you be, can't it, do it, it would, it would be, it. it would be hypocritical. So I can't, I wouldn't be able to say no, but Imagine that's, that's she my did baby. Porn she's yeah. like, daddy loves porn stars. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure oh my, my God, I'm sure my children, so I'm sure my children would find out eventually that, you know, daddy was a porn star. So yeah. we'd have to cross that bridge when we get there. Follow up. How big is your dick? It's uh it's good. Have you measured it? Yeah. Seven inches? Up or down? Up? Ten. Eight inches? Twelve foot? It's about eight inches, yeah. Eight inches? Yeah. I think that's like the biggest I can go before they bruise my cervix. I've yeah, had I'm my a, cervix I'm, I'm good, good size. Really? I'm not going to hurt. I haven't like, had that happen yet. My goal is to make you come, not hurt you. So anything bigger than bigger than eight, <laughs> yeah. nine, it's like you're going to fucking be like poking your organs. So All right. I have a pleasure, <laughs> pleasure dick. Yeah, that's good. So if your body count was only the girls you made come, what would that be? And not fake come on fucking porn, because I know that's fake. Not when they shoot me. Really? Yeah. All right. I'm so. not just trying to. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you know if they're faking? You can tell because it's like not just their their voices are audible. Like yeah. the body shakes, you can't deny that. Okay. So there's more things, more cues, like the eyes rolling. Like you can you can tell. Like would I've it been be over a thousand. I, I've been shooting long enough to where I can tell if it's real or if it's fake. Yeah. Would it be over a thousand people? Perf yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm not a whore. <laughs> we love whores here. I'm I'm like an internet whore, but like very. I'm not a whore in real life, and I used to be a whore in real life. I would yeah. raw dog so many frat boys. You were in a frat. What frat were you in? I was in Sigma Phi Epsilon. Did you use condoms? Barely. <laughs> How many times have you had chlamydia? Couple times. Couple times. It happened. It's, it's like it's like a. I think it's, it's a badge of honor. It's, when it's you're like in a frat. The, it's like having a cold on your. It's like a dick cold. Yeah, exactly. The dick flu. Are people that scared of COVID? No. Well, they were. I'm, at one I'm more. Point. I'm more scared of getting. I'm more scared of getting cl chlamydia than COVID, honestly. Really? Why? Because yeah. I lose work. Well, I guess I lose work for both, but. Um, yeah. What? I, I mean, like, <laughs> they're both bad. Because chlamydia, it's just a pill, and then a week it's gone, right? And yeah. then COVID, that's ten days. COVID, so COVID, more work. Yeah. COVID, COVID, COVID sucks. COVID that's really. True. I had COVID. That su I felt like I got hit by a bus. COVID did suck. I thought I was coming I down from times. drugs, but I was really just had COVID. <laughs> I'm like, I did ecstasy. I did 2C. I think I'm just, I took a few COVID tests and I'm like, it's fine. I went out in public. And then a few days later, I finally tested positive And I was like, oh, I have to send the text messages now that I just went oh. a lot of places with COVID. I actually oh. got COVID where you're from. In Austin? So in the very beginning of COVID, right. COVID was only in like New York like in the bigger cities, like New York, San Francisco, it wasn't in Texas yet because Texas people were like, we don't have COVID, COVID's not real. Yeah, yeah. So I went out, I, went, I was at my friend's birthday party and it was, uh, we were out on the lake on Lake, uh, Travis, like, Lake Travis, oh, Lake Travis, Travis. Okay. we're on a boat party, we're all partying, like smoking blunts, like share, sharing tequila in the cove. Yeah. And, yeah. and then Maybe like earlier. get back from, cause like COVID wasn't in Texas yet. It was mm -hmm. still like up in New York thing. So I get back to Vegas where I live and I'm I'm fine. Then I, like, I wake up the next day. I'm like, uh, this doesn't feel right. Yeah. Cause like COVID, it's like 
That's why like I think that shit was made in a lab it, because the way I felt, I was oh, like, this is not, this is not from, like, this is not real shit. Like, yeah. the way I it feel, it feels like a drug. Yeah, yeah, I was like, something is in my body right now. My body is fucking fighting for its life. I was, I thought I was immune to COVID because I, I thought well, so too. <laughs> I only stopped going out for like two or three months. I lived in Arizona at the time. Mm-hmm. So then, oh yeah, as Ari- soon as Arizona Mars, was the, mm-hmm. I, I swear to God, Arizona throughout COVID was the last hot spot. Everywhere else in the world shut down. Yeah, and Arizona, we were Scott, still partying. Scottsdale, Scottsdale was still going hard. I lived in Austin, Austin was, Scottsdale was the last man standing with COVID. Like, that was the last place to shut down. So, like, LA shut down, Vegas shut down. So, yeah. we were, like, people were still going to I, going I, to Phoenix. <laughs> I think Texas for sure had COVID because, like, everyone was like, no, that's not real, that's not real, that's not real. I think we had it, but no one was going to get tested for it because we were all in complete and did not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was just like wildfire spreading and everyone was like, no, we don't have it. I still drank a lot during COVID. So I was over here, I like slang tequila bottles and then uh-huh. everyone around me kept testing positive. I kept testing negative. I went mouth to mouth on tequila bottles with people. That's who how were I got testing. it. That's how I got it too. No, tequila that's bottle. how I, I didn't get it. So I'm like, I'm immune. Okay. <laughs> I'm immune. I'm the only Wait, one. Well, you never got it? I didn't get it till I went to Tulum and did a lot uh, of drinks and came Tulum. back. I yeah. went to Tulum and they tested me. I took three tests. They all came back negative. And I was already sick for like four days, like on my deathbed. My, half my vacation was ruined. And then yeah. I went back to Texas. I tested in Texas and I came, immediately came back positive. So yeah. I, I found out from my friend, they're like, oh, in Mexico, if you get COVID, they send you back because they don't want you in their country. Yeah, but exactly. if you don't have COVID and you're in Mexico, they send you false positive so that you stay and spend money. Well, they they like, kept damn. saying I'm negative, so maybe yeah. I was positive. Yeah. That was another like people sure. were going to it was Tulum. Tulum, it was Tulum and Scottsdale. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, Tulum, I was dying. <laughs> Those were the two spots that weren't like people were still partying if they wanted to party. Oh my god, I was like a little alcoholic. I remember when COVID first happened because the the bars did close down for about a month. It was or March fifteenth, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I just I was taking acid. COVID. <laughs> 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 like I just took acid at my apartment at the time, watching like the Insomniac live streams, and my roommate at the time god fuck her but she was like she was like can we like listen to something else other than like dubstep because i was like listening oh. to the insomniac dubstep streams and i'm like if that's the case i'll just listen in my room and you can do whatever out here and she's like no 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 like she wanted to hang out but um mm-hmm. i i didn't care like me on acid especially I have this god complex where i think i'm being nice and i'm not um, you're just in your own little world yeah i, I have no filter when i'm tripping like yeah so you get like i mean i technically don't either when i'm sober but I'm a little more cutthroat because <laughs> I don't have the patience or the tolerance. So let's start with you. Okay. How would you tell your kids that you have your vagina on the internet? I would, I would literally start out as a young age, like, like, okay, like we all have these body parts. If they start asking questions, I'll answer it in the most like PG way I can. Yeah. But I'm not going to hide anything from my kids. If so. your body count was only the men who have made you come, what would it be? Zero. God. Men, men have just disappointed us over and over. The body. Men always ask me like, "Don't you miss dick being celibate?" And I'm like, "No, I really don't, because no yeah, one no. prioritizes me. Also, like the emotional stuff is never worth the dick. Like the last man I hooked up with spit in my mouth after eating onion soup. Ew. Didn't cut his nails before fingering me, and it's like, why are you bleeding, bitch? Why do you think you finger blasted me with nails? That's so you've had a lot of disappointing dick. Yes. So much, yes. especially the frat boys. And is, also, is it, is it like, the ones that talk it up the most or the yeah, ones that yeah, are yes. just Oh my okay. God. The man who talks it up the most, you were sexy like, for I'll months. Make you, like, be good. And then it's like my He had no rhythm. And also don't yeah. know what to do with their tongue or their hands. They're just overcompensating. <laughs> like, for, yeah. yeah. So when you were in a frat, did you try to make girls come or were you like, these they are just selfish. masturbation toys? Say it again. You know, like basically when guys don't try to make you come, I feel like they're just masturbating in your vagina. That's like how I feel about it. I mean, that was always my goal. Um, to make girls come? I, I say I learned at an early age because I was always like, I found my first playboy at 12 years old. So I was always intrigued. Yeah. Like I just loved women. I love just like learning, wanting to know more about them. So when I like, I watched a lot of real, like this old school stuff, like on HBO Cinemax. I don't know if you guys yeah. know about that, but yeah. there was like real <laughs> sex. So it was this like really? road show where like these sex experts would, or porn stars would go like interview people and like talk about like, interview couples about sex and stuff like that. So I was always like learning about it. Yeah. Um, I was a late bloomer. I didn't really hit puberty until I was almost 18. So like, I was like always the cute, I was always a small too. Like uh-huh. I didn't, I had my growth spurt when I was like a senior in high school. That's crazy. So I was always like the cute little friend. Like I never yeah. like, and now all the girls want to fuck well, you. Yeah, I want to see pictures. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, like I always want like knew like what the girls wanted, how to make them feel good just from my knowledge and learning yeah. that. So when I was in college, like I, I feel like I was a little ahead of the curve on like, I always put the girl first uh-huh. and even 
Uh, I grew up in the service industry. My parents owned restaurants, so like I yeah. started serving food, like the cust- like always taking care of the customer. So I always put other people before myself. Okay. So just based on my background, like okay. it was never about me. And even when I shoot porn, like I look at it, look at it like I'm there to make the girl look good. It's yeah. not about me. Because yeah. if it's about me, it's not going to look as good on camera. That, so that, that's I, very like I have to be unselfish a lot yeah. of the time in the porn I shoot because I want to make the girl look good and sometimes the good shot isn't the most comfortable shot. That's why yeah, Johnny that's Sins and Owen Gray are like my top two because like they they please the girl. You can tell she's actually enjoying it too. Yeah. yeah. So sick. It makes a huge difference. I feel like a lot of men don't have the patience it yeah. takes to like wait for a full orgasm of a woman because it does take yeah, a while. It so, does. So back on the training thing, that's yeah. that's the point in my life where. There's this incident I had where that's when I knew like I could potentially be a porn star. Yeah. So uh, we were having a fraternity party. Uh, it was parents weekend. Uh-huh. So it's like all the parents come to town during like the football games. Like, mm-hmm. And uh, I had just gotten shoulder surgery uh, a week before because yeah. I was on the track team. I threw the javelin, got shoulder surgery. So I was like just doped up on like Percocets and mm-hmm. just like the painkillers. And we had this party. All the parents were there. One of the moms for my tr- fraternity brothers brought a cake. Yeah. And like I'm sitting in the corner, like there's a band party going on. Like I'm just in the back, like eating cake. Yeah. And these two girls come up to me, like, "Oh, like, are you okay? I'm in my sling, just by myself, because I can't be around people, because I like I can't knock into people. Yeah. It's a crowded yeah. room. It's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. And they start like feeding me cake. Uh huh. And then like they start feeding each other cake. And then next thing you know, they're making out. Are they moms? No, no, no. They okay. Were I, just I, I, I did some moms in college, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So like they, they're like making out. And they're like, let's go back and like, let's go back to the back room. I'm like, all right, yeah. let's go. So we go to this bathroom that we have in the fraternity house and it has a shower and it stalls. It's like yeah. a communal area. And next thing you know, the girls are like getting naked. They're rubbing cake all over each other's titties and like they're licking off titties. I'm licking cake off them. Why are you uh-huh. in your sling? I'm in my sling, yeah. I'm one one handed there during this whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Still talented. <laughs> And, and like we end up having sex and then we go to the, like we have cake all over us and then we go to the shower we start having sex in the shower Damn. next thing you know the door flies open because the word spread that I was in the bathroom with these girls uh-huh. so the door flies open the whole party's like yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the crowd goes crazy and then like that semester the rest of the semester I was like oh you're a porn star like, like Dude, it was going around camp so like that was that moment in my life I was probably like 21 years old where I was like I could do this because yeah. like, like when everyone jumped in or like opened the door like, I wasn't nervous that people were watching it. Like, it, yeah. I enjoyed it. So I learned, like, at that point, like, I like when people watch me have sex. Like, I'm an exhibitionist. So, like, so I like public stuff, too. Do yeah. your frat brothers know you're a porn star now? Yes, they do. Did you get kicked out of the frat, like, kicked out of nationals or whatever? Oh, no, no. I started porn after college. But, like, I thought that if you do something later on, they can, like, revoke your title. No? It's just a sure. sorority thing? Yeah, probably. They, yeah, yeah, yeah like, like they, they, they don't maybe? care. They don't care. I don't know. I'm, yeah, they're, it's cool. Do they give you high fives? They're like, yo, you're the man. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I go back to my college, like I'm a, a hometown hero there, so. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. What is your preferred dick size? Um, I like them girthy, and but like a decent length. Like, yeah, thicker. so you like them big. I like them big, Do yeah. you think girls are lying when they say they like small dicks? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I think five inches with a curve can do good. I'm bored. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> for the guys at home, it's not about the motion of the ocean all the time. Yeah. Okay, what is your move for eating girls out? Oh, wow. Um, I, I kind of freestyle it. Um, it really, okay. it's it's a case-by-case case situation. Yeah. Um, but before I even get to the eating out part, you got to stimulate other places. So, like, I like to warm up. I like to kiss the neck. I'm like... At the, I, I like romance. Like, I'm yeah, really, like... like I really like to connect because I'm, yeah. I'm a spiritual person, like... I really like to connect first. If I'm like in the zone and connected, then it's it's a different thing. Um, but sometimes with performance sex, like for Brazzers, big companies, there's no connection. It's really about like the acrobatics yeah. or the, the crazy shit, like the. Um, Do that face again, the porn star face. So <laughs> yeah, I like to you know kiss the other places, yeah, and get that warmed up, and then. The thing I tell guys if they ask me like tips and tricks about eating pussy, you don't just go straight to the clit. Yeah. You don't overstimulate it. You. You know, you kiss around because on the vagina, there's nerve endings everywhere. The clitoris actually isn't just on the top and the outside. It actually, it looks like a horseshoe around the vagina. So the, wow. the clitoris is actually Take like notes, runs along the, the vaginal lips. And so, an anatomy lesson. Yeah, so you learn some things. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you don't just go straight to the clit. You kiss around, you warm them up. 
And some girls, you know, they want to move faster. Some want to move slower. It's just really, yeah. it's really about at the end of the day, communication, whether it's verbal cues or like you can tell when a girl's into it or if she's not, if she's not like, oh, like you can try something different because yeah. every girl, like some girls like clitoral stimulation, some mm -hmm. girls like, like fingers inserted, vaginal stimulation. Yeah. Some, some liked on the rub. It's everyone's different. So yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, so I'll keep going. Okay, just, let's I'm keep just, going. I'm just starting. Yeah, yeah she, let's go. She's like, oh, I feel it. Oh it's, it's, it's working. It's working. <laughs> so um, I like to, uh, because with your mouth, it's not just, you know, you have your lips, you have yeah. your tongue. Mm -hmm. So like, I like to kiss it. I like to lick it. Yeah. And you can suck on it. So there's different things you can do. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. So there's, you can do hybrid moves where you have, you're like your sucking on the clitoris and you have your fingers inside and you mm -hmm. rub the G spot, which is a, a good move there. Yeah. You can rub the butthole or if the girl likes it, put a oh finger God. in. There's, you know, yeah. there's a lot of different. Girls squirt with your fingers. Yeah. That's that, awesome. Honestly, that's amazing. that should be a skill taught in <laughs> health class. It's, yeah. It's, I, don't uh, think I had like three guys that could do that. It's sex like, okay. There's it's a learning awesome. curve with it. Cause like, I mean, I don't think I really knew how to do it. In, like you learn through yeah. life, but. Do you think squirting is hot? Yeah. A lot of guys are indifferent about it. It's actually, a, guys actually, actually gross when you I know what? It. If if it's yeah. um, if the girl is hydrated, it's good because it doesn't smell like pee. Yeah. yeah. If she, if she's not dirty. hydrated, it's coming out yellow. Then like, yeah. and it, you smell piss, then nah. Uh, yeah. But if it's like, but there is a difference between squirt and pee. I've yeah, learned that is. too. There's a big difference. There there Squirting does not come from your pee hole. Yeah. So the first guy who. I was like in a situation ship with in college. When I would squirt, he would get so mad at me. He'd be like, that is disgusting. So I had to train myself Ooh, not to what squirt. What a loser. I know, what a loser. What a loser. <laughs> he, had a, he had a nice size dick though. Um, but if you want to see me eat pussy, you can go to my OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> Marketing or we tactic. Can do, we can do a demonstration here if you're down. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm the celibate one. Down. But yeah, that's honestly Only like- my one. <laughs> <laughs> my my favorite is like I love eating pussy. Like uh -huh. I'd say in the adult industry, like that's what I'm I'm known for very well. Yeah. So like that's my, my specialty and I How just are you not as big as Johnny Sins or are you? Well Johnny's been around forever. Like okay. he's been doing it for fifteen years. I've been in for eight years. Yeah. And like he came in at a time where like that's when porn kind of started going like viral. Like he okay. he was the porn star that was the biggest porn star at the time when social media started happening, like yeah. Instagram, Twitter, like he was the top dog when social media really hit, hit the market. So yeah. okay. that's why people recognize like Johnny Sins as the top porn star in the world mm -hmm. because he was like the OG of like yeah. known porn stars. Okay. And then there's so many memes because he's like, you know, you can recognize him anywhere because of his look with the bald head and like, yeah. you, you can't mistake like him. Unique, unique he's a very unique look. So like, he just had the perfect combination of all these elements coming together to make him like this prolific porn star. And he's, he's an amazing guy. Like he's been a mentor to me. Like he's always like, you know, giving oh, me like, like the yeah, yeah. So we have a small brotherhood with that, with the yeah. guy. So if you're going this ham on girls' vaginas, do you expect them to go ham on the dick? Uh, going to ham on the dick is bad. Oh, wait, yeah, what do you mean? So like a lot of girls think guys like deep throating. I don't do that. I throw up. I was I don't do that. I like out it. <laughs> because like, because girls will like try to deep throat you and it's like hitting the back of their throat. It hurts. Like if oh, it's like, interesting. but like if they're able to let it, like if it goes down, it's fine. So yeah. girls like, think like deep throating is good. It, it's but... for me like I like deep throating if the girl can can, can do it properly and it's yeah. actually going down her throat, not like hitting the back of it. Yeah. So yeah. again, that's case by case for the girl. Yeah. For me, I like. I like mostly like stimulation on the tip. Okay, yeah. makes sense. So that's that's my thing right there. I like it. Like, do you take fingers at the booty hole? I ha I I have once. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so funny story. Um, so my ex girlfriend, <laughs> <laughs> we we were having sex and she like, like it wasn't no lube no lube no, no, no lube. She Ow. like it went up there like and I I flinched and like I flinched so hard like I shook like it broke her finger. Oh my god! She, cause, yeah, cause well, that's kind of her fault. Yeah, because we were, we were drunk and like she's like run my <laughs> like balls and gooch and she yeah. like fucking just shoved it and like I literally went bump and <laughs> her fingers it, it broke her finger. Did you so, hear a snap in your butt? Oh yeah, it was, it was Ooh. yeah. So Ooh. that 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 did. So that's the last time. True story. What would your price tag be to do gay porn? Uh, Take it up the asshole. Priceless. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. Really? Yeah. Really. Million dollars. I wouldn't do it. Damn. I like what I like. Okay. Yeah. Wow, you have you have a high moral ground for yourself. <laughs> I do, I do. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing the answer. That's is that's my no no hole. 
<laughs> I'm guessing the answer is absolutely not. But do you care about body count for girls at all? Um, again, because my body count's high, so I can't judge someone yeah. for that. So like, I'd, no. I like in my head, at, like initially, I'm like, oh, like horror, but. I like, what? I, I, no, societal like, pressure. Yeah. Yeah, but like, I understand. So yeah. it's not like, a See, deal, it's not a deal breaker for me. If a girl has a really low body count, you. The sex she, must be boring. It, yeah, the sex <laughs> must be boring. Well, yeah, if, if girls like haven't had a lot of sex, they get intimidated having sex with me because they're like, yeah. They, yeah. they're like, oh, like I'm not going to know how to make you have sex with like the top porn stars in the world, the, the professionals of sex. They understand. Yeah. Everything. So they're like, you know, I, I understand why girls get nervous, but I try to like, you know, it's all good. Like I understand, like yeah. I like that because like I want us to just flow with it. I'm not gonna, and even like the sex I have at home with civilian girls or like regular girls, <laughs> it's not like, I'm not having porn sex. Like yeah. my sex at home is completely different than how I do it on a porn site. And it's different how I do it on OnlyFans. So it's re yeah. it really depends. Do you do mainstream porn still or just OnlyFans? Yeah, I do both. Okay, yeah. who do you work with? Everyone. everyone. Like browsers, all of them? Browsers, yeah, like you name it. Who's right. your favorite girl porn star to work with? <sighs> so this is a tricky question because I don't want to, I, I don't want to upset any of my peers. Okay. Um, so when I, I get asked this question, I like to go back to the OGs, the girls okay. that are retired. Um, <laughs> off the top, Asa Akira. Okay. She is absolutely amazing. Uh, legend. Um, I actually shot her last boy girl porn scene like five years ago. So I was like, okay, I got sick. to, I, she was like, had a prolific career and I was like the end of it. So yeah. like, that was a cool one for me. Uh, Alexis, Texas. Okay. Amazing. A good friend of mine. Um, first time I shot with her, like, like I knew who she was, uh -huh. but come to set, you can't be a fanboy. So I was like low key on the inside. <laughs> like, oh my God, I'm about to, I'm about to shoot Alexis, Texas. Did you come fast? No, no, I didn't. <laughs> what do you think about when you're like, I can't come right now? Oh, if, if I like, if I'm having sex and it feels good and I need to come. Yeah. I'll, I'll look over, I'll make eye contact with the camera guy. <laughs> <laughs> so if I feel like I need to come, I'm like, and I make him very, feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> like, just look at me, bro. Just, 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 look, just, just look. keep it. And then it, the feeling goes away. So that, yeah. that's actually um, my trick for not coming early. But I, if you're at home, you don't have a guy to look at. Some yeah. other things you can do, some other tips is, Think about things that don't turn you on. Yeah. Um, I tell guys like think about taxes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So think about how much money you're about to pay the IRS. That'll make you not want to come real quick. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, but back to favorite. Oh, favorite the camera, camera guy feels really awkward. Oh, <laughs> also, Kira. Alexis Texas. Alexis Texas. Riley Reed. Oh, really shout, shout out to Riley Reed. This is, is that her clothing This company? is her clothing brand. Like 18 her plus. She, she messaged me on Instagram a while ago. I was like. Riley Reed messaged me and I'm pretty sure it was just her assistant asking me to like help promote her clothing company. <laughs> <laughs> so Riley was actually one of the sponsors for our event and all this. Okay. So. I think they messaged me too about sending, getting the clothing. Yeah. yeah. So she Riley, just, she, she, she's so hot. Riley's, she's hot. She's a sweet person inside and out. She's just a unicorn. Like her blowjob skills are fucking upper echelon. Yeah. Pussy's is fucking magical. It's just like, it's, it's like a suction cup. Like gets really what it's, it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you're really good friends with Megan Rain. Yes. My favorite porn star. She's great. So my favorite scene, and it's like my favorite thing to watch whenever I watch porn, is when she picks up a lot of men for this like bang bro scene in a minivan. Are they actually- the Is it the bang bus? Bang oh, bus, yeah. I think I've seen that scene. Wait, is that bang bros or bang bus? Or is it the same thing? Bang bros, bang bros. owns the bang bus, correct. Okay, got it. So were those guys actually random? They were not random. That's crazy. Yes. Yeah, so for everyone out there, they kicked a I, should, guy out. I don't want to ruin the fantasy. Fuck. I might lose some company some money. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Fuck it. All right. So any of the reality TV shit you see on porn, if it's like, oh, like we picked up a random stranger off the street. It looked so real. They kicked a guy out. With it's his not a random off. stranger. Yeah. It's everyone because everyone has signed waivers and releases because you never know. You could pick up someone off the street. You have to make sure yeah. they're of age and over 18. Yeah, because if she's topless and then they're under 18, she can like go exactly, to jail. Exactly, you can go yeah, to jail. Yeah. So like everyone has to be age verified. So like you can't pick up strangers off the street. And also if you're having sex with strangers, everyone in our industry has to be tested. Yeah. So people, random people on the street aren't going to be tested like that. So we're not going to put our performers at risk to do something like that. Yeah. But back in the day, actually, they would do scenes where they would like, it was called In the VIP, um, where they would like have sex with strangers. 
but that was before all, all the regulations came in. Yeah. I, I wasn't. That was before my time. But there was a time in porn where it there there was regular. real fucking sex, like real strangers, like college yeah. bars, parties. So that was that was a time. But it's no longer. We're, okay. we're we're safe. The one thing I interviewed Kaylee Gunner, and she was like, a lot of people who do porn have so much sex outside of porn. So when you get tested and there's that two week period, some people still come back with chlamydia and stuff like that because they're just out here. Yeah, fucking Island. guys with the Cubs, <laughs> fucking. Yeah, yes and no. Um, okay. For me personally, like as I feel like that's rude. I, I, I can speak yeah. for the male porn stars. Like the male porn stars don't have as much sex outside of porn than mm -hmm. people would expect. Okay. Um, because like, say I have this scene tomorrow, like I'm not gonna be having sex all day because I need my energy for my shoot tomorrow. Yeah. So it's like, if you're a top male porn star and you shoot a lot, like we don't have the, the energy, like, you know, we need yeah, to save our energy yeah. to do a top scene. So if we're like fucking all the time and going out and party and doing all that, like we can't perform at a high level. How many times do you think you come in a day? <sighs> the most is like probably 10. 10 yeah. in a day? The, yeah. Shit, that's yeah. nice. I, 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 like, I like I like I like I like I like marathon sex. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I, the most scenes I've shot in a day is seven. Seven scenes in a day. Yeah, so it was kind of a, a it was a real so it was like a reality house type thing. It's kind yeah. of like real world, but there was like oh my god, two guys. There's uh, three guys and like eight girls, yeah. and we we're all in a house together for three days. So, we literally wake anything. We're like the girls cooking breakfast, and I'm like. Or I'm like, I'm cooking breakfast. The girl's giving me a blowjob. Yeah. Like, just throughout the day. So that's nice. seven scenes in one day, just like doing random things. So that's my record. Damn. I, I just can recover fast. And do you make a lot as a male porn star? We do all right. It's so the girls get paid more. Do they? Okay. Per scene. But the guys can work more than the girls because there's a, a week out of the month that we don't have a period. Yeah. So... You know, we don't have to deal with that. And also, if you're getting dicked down by, because porn dicks aren't small. Mm -hmm. So girls can't get dicked down by big dicks so many days in a row. Like, girls have yeah. to take time off. For, yeah. And you like, girls, like, the vagina is a very complex thing. So, you know, there's yeah, there's a lot of things that go on. So it's Have you ever DP'd with Dread? Have you ever worked with Dread? I have not worked with Dread. Dread's a great guy, though. Dude, his dick scares it's, me. It's massive, yeah. Oh, my I God. In the, in the, when we were doing the, the shoot this morning, that guy, the tall guy? No, no, no. I oh, heard okay. he has a big dick, yeah, too. <laughs> but, oh, my God, a Dread's I, I, I have DP'd with uh, Lex Lexington Steel. Okay, and how big is his? 14 inches. Oh my god! So like, it was, real? It was a little mad. So like, was I'm like, he going in the asshole? Can you even fit a 14 inch penis? Not all, in a not, dick not, right not all, a, not all the way, in. not all the way. In, no, because of the vaginal opening. Yeah. Is like, have you hit a girl's cervix? Of course. I got my cervix <laughs> bruised by a nine inch peener. Yeah, it'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, my whole body started shaking. I was sweating, and then yeah, I if, threw if up. you hit it directly, it hurts. He's yeah. like. You're up. Huh? You threw up? I threw up. It oh was the God. most painful thing. And then he's like, yeah, it felt like I just hit a wall. And I'm like, no you shit. Yeah, and sometimes like girls have IUDs and you can feel, feel low, hit yeah. that. So it's like, if you're in deep, like you feel like metal literally poking your dick or whatever that Plastic. IUDs meant. Yeah, yeah, it's like. <sighs> wow. What is the craziest sex you've had in porn and out of porn? Oh man. Craziest sex I've had in porn. <laughs> That's a tough question. <laughs> um... I see Grant over here. He shot a lot of my pornos. I know we have some funny <laughs> stories. Has there ever been anything that either like grosses you out or it was like so memorable? Has a girl thrown up on your penis during scene? I've been thrown up on. I've been shit on. Okay, I've let's had, talk about I, the pooping stories. I don't think poop is talked about enough in podcasts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay, so I shot this one scene and the girl's riding me. We're actually having vaginal sex. Uh -huh. So it's no, no anal. And she's riding me in cowgirl and she's coming. She's like riding, she's coming. And like when you're, when you're having an orgasm, everything's relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> so when she came, she shit on me. <laughs> a turd, a little turd. It looked Stop. like a Tootsie Roll. It, it, <gasps> it, sh it shot out her ass. It landed on my stomach. So, so I'm laying there. Were you she's, dressed out? So I'm laying there. I'm la it's great. Like I'm laying there and she's yeah. coming. And then I didn't feel it because like, it. no, no. So I, the director's right, or the camera guy's right here. He's like, I look over, I was like, and the girl, so I see his face like, and then I see her face. She's like, I look down. There's a fucking Tootsie Roll in my belly. <laughs> she grabs it, snatches it, runs to the bathroom. <laughs> like, I was like, 
Oh wow! See, I feel like with porn, I felt bad good. for her. Like, yeah. I, like it's not her fault. Like, she was having to, like it, it hap- shit happens. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I felt, yeah. She was embarrassed. I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's not your fault. See, it's when okay. anal, you expect that stuff, but when you're just like, yeah, it was, it was not expected. Yeah, yeah. like I've, I've had that. had poo on the dick doing anal. Like, like that's you know that's a, a job hazard. So with she that. didn't realize for a bit. Like she was riding it. She kept going. Yeah, she didn't. She didn't know if it was smacking. Yeah, it was a camera guy. So yeah, he saw it and then like. Ever got strep throat from eating a girl's booty hole? I have not, no. Do you know who uh, Anal Princess is? Stella, Stella something? She's like, I... I'm sure you could. She, Yeah, she gets strep if, a if lot. You, if you eat a lot of booty, then yeah. Yeah, and she'll like finger guys buttholes and then put it right well, in her yeah, mouth. Well, yeah, that's, that's, that's how you get strep. That's how you get pink eye. Yeah. Like, yeah, that happens. <laughs> I could not. Like, fingering a guy's asshole, I know that... Do you wash in between your ass cheeks? Or you just let the water fall? I wash everywhere, yeah. Like, like you, you there, make your, your hand, cheeks, like, your butt, like, open your cheeks up and wash in between. Like I soap my, like yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't pull this, like, you know, like washcloth, yeah. like my little, like, what's, what's a, uh, you sque- wash a squeegee? Your right? yeah. yeah, of course. You know yeah. how many men don't wash their assholes? Yeah. It's Why is that? I don't know. Do they let the water fall beneath their, between their butt cheeks? Because like people, people assume if they have water there, it's clean, but it's no, really, no, no. really I not like clean. I like finger my butthole a little bit. I'm like, need to clean all of it If I go down on a guy and I smell I'll ring, I'll ring the doorbell. I'm out. I will not. At oh least, my. at least in my line of work, yeah. um, all the girls like they clean everything, they douche, they wipe. Everything's clean when I come to set. So uh-huh. having sex outside of work sometimes, you're running a little risk. If you meet a girl at the bar, you don't know she might be dancing all night. She got swamp ass, and like you go back with her. Oh I know I experienced that in college, leaving the college bars, but yeah, um, 99% of the time, a girl on set like everything is clean. Everything shit like yeah. down there. There's not hairs when poking go, out of a bowl. When I go home with a guy, and I, the first thing I do when I go to their house is go to their bathroom, and then if I don't see wet wipes on the back of their toilet, I leave. I'm like, oh, I have to go. Oh my god. I won't. I carry wet wipes. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> see, I just like I. It's like weird, but I uh, rinse off almost every time I poop. Just afterwards, I'm like, no, nah, I'm going straight they in the like, shower. That means that they don't wipe their butt good. And they poop, <laughs> like, I'm not about to give you a blowjob. It's gonna smell bad. Have you ever given a blumpkin? What's a blumpkin? It's like when they're taking a shit and you like. <laughs> oh my god! Dead. I did with my ex. Oh! <laughs> and I lasted so two free. seconds, and I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> no, but the the guy who I had a situation ship with, who thought it was gross when I squirted, he loved it when he had swamp dick and I blew it. He's like, oh yeah, baby. Like after he got back from the gym, mm. and I'm just over here like. I don't really care. I like that. I like when a girl leaves the gym and she's a little sweaty because like. Okay, yeah. And al- well, also, also. But I would be so embarrassed. So here, unless he re- requests, I would still be embarrassed. So it's it's a physiological thing. It's it's built in our DNA. So yeah. it's pheromones. So even like when I'm on a porn set, because so I, like I, I no no no. So like the okay. vagina. Like I like a little. I like <laughs> I like the smell of a vagina. If it's uh-huh. you know like vagina has a little smell to it. Yeah. Um. A lot of the girls on porn sets, they, they wash it, they douche, they clean everything out, so there's no smell. Yeah. But in that the vaginal juice, there's pheromones. Yeah. So that's like naturally like that's to turn you on. So uh-huh. like if you know smelling that, I like that. So if a girl's working out, the pheromones, the sweat, like that yeah. naturally would turn a guy on. Really? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I've never so tried I that. Like, I gotta shower first. Yeah. <laughs> but but if there's a little booty juice in there, it could make a little, you know, it's just well, depends. Yeah, just not like yeah. the most fun yeah it Having depends it, de- it depends also what depends was it a cardio day or was it you just lifting yeah. So, That's you know, true. there's levels like to it. Yeah. yeah there, there's love, come over. Yeah, there's levels to it. Because right having a big butt, there's like upsides and downsides. Because oh, obviously the upsides rough. is like, wow, you have a big butt. The <laughs> downside is the sweat. It sweats it a sweat. lot because it's big. And there's a lot of cracks to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath, the in-between, all of it. All right. I feel you on that one. So what is your craziest sex story? Oh, you really want to know this one? Yeah, I do. Okay. So before I ever had a three, this actually happened um, back in March of this year. Okay. I had never had a threesome, let alone like fully been with a girl. Like, yeah. And I took mushrooms. We were in Cabo, and I was actually there with another guy. But then that guy, I like, he gave me the ick real fast, and I was like, nope. Well, so then I was like, oh, I'm gonna go to the other house, and someone was in the bathroom that was in my room. So I was like, I'm gonna go to the other room and use their bathroom. So yeah. I come in, and I'm tripping balls, like. So much mushrooms. And um, these other two girls are taking a bubble bath together. And I thought they were, oh, you know, just girls being girls. And I was, yeah. like, I was like, can I, can I come in and pee? Like, I just, like someone else is in there. Like, yeah, yeah, come in. And so I go in and I'm like sitting on the toilet, like peeing. And I'm just like talking to them. And 
They're like, do you want to come in with us? And I'm like, hmm. again, I thought it was just like girls. And I was like, yeah, They're like sure. Like this is cute. Three single girls or yeah. guy too? It gets better. Just wait. Okay. Ooh. And so um, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll get in. And then next thing I know, like one of the girls starts stroking my arm and I'm like, oh, it's like this. And then she starts making out with me and like kissing my neck and all that. And I'm like, of course, getting like turned on. And then the other girl comes over and starts making out with me too. And next thing I know, like we're all like kind of starting a threesome. But then the door swings open and it's her boyfriend. He's like, well, 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 when I left, there were two. Now there's three. And like, <laughs> I'm like, then it starts registering to me. It's like, I think I just walked in on a threesome that was going to happen. And now it's turning into a foursome. Nice. Wow. <laughs> this is like before I ever had a threesome, before I ever did anything with a girl. Yeah. And then it just kind of like started happening. And it was honestly really cool. Yeah. Um, but one of the girls, the, the girlfriend of the guy was on her period. So she was like, can you fuck my boyfriend? And I watch. And I was like, sure. And he had, a, he had a really nice dick, but he was like, not attractive like everyone else, but like, I was like, fuck it. Just that yeah. nice body, but like not, not the face. But yeah. So what are your pussy eating tips? Um, I made both of the girls come surprisingly, okay. which was crazy. Wow. And like the next day on the beach, I was like taking just like a solo stroll by myself on my phone, looking down. And next thing I know, I feel these arms just hook and they like skip up to me and they're like, ah, hey, like, you know, I'm not going to pressure you like into having sex again, but like, do you want to? And I'm like, no. oh my God, so this is what it feels like yeah. when the guys are like, oh my God, these girls are obsessed with me. Uh -huh. It was kind of like an ego boost a little bit, but yeah, it is. they're like, it was, it was cool. But yeah, it's um, funny for eating pussy though. I mean, like I know my body and I know what I like. What do you like? And I like Ooh. pretty much everything you described. Like I like the yeah. whole build up thing. Like a lot of like, like the whole neck area in the back. Oh my God. That's like, Instantly yeah. gets me wet, but like the whole like teasy, like start with the neck, things and yeah, then kind of like in between the yeah, thighs. It's, it's, it's a, a marathon, not a sprint. You yeah, know, yeah, but then also like the fingering while doing yeah. it. And like, I, I know where my G spot is and I know what it feels like. So I was just like, at first, like doing it, like not gonna lie, like the first few minutes, I was like, okay, like trying to, cause my, like it's opposite when you're doing yeah. someone else. So I was like, oh, okay, like then I was good to go. Yeah. And they're like, both moaning. I'm doing both of them at the same time. <laughs> and the other one's on your nails that's, long. That's an no, extra no, move right I there. I keep my nails short. Okay, got so it. I feel, yeah, because it feels good for me too. And I'm yeah, yeah. To myself. I don't like nails, like long nails on me. But, yeah, for the longest um, time, I could only come with like a Hitachi. And yeah. people are like, no wonder you can't come. And then no, I Kristen like the ate me out. And I'm like, oh my God. I So this girl, Kristen, I told her she's like wanted to do my first like real girl girl scene like not just using vibrators but like eating Is out. Is it Kristen the therapist? No, Kristen oh, Elise. Okay. 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 Yeah, she's the therapist. Oh, like a, a oh, the sex therapist. Sex coach. Sex therapist. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. She's sex cool. Sex coach. Yeah. So she, I was like, yeah, we can do it. I don't like being eaten out, but like, let's just do it for the scene. Blah blah blah. She's like, oh, you're gonna like it, and I'm like, no, I'm not. And then she started. I was like. The fuck? She knows her shit. She does. I've, I've heard her talk about sex, and I'm like, I learned she, some things. I'm like, yeah. wow, wow, okay. I thought so I knew. I, was I thought I knew. Trying to eat him, thinking I was gonna have to fake it the whole time, and I'm like, oh my god, keep going, keep going. And then she stopped <laughs> right hot. before I came, and I'm like, all right, well, gotta get my Hitachi out, cause, oh my god. And then I <laughs> fantasized about her eating me out for months and months oh and god. months after. I'm like, did you tell her that? Oh like, yeah, I would like, even. Please, <laughs> I, <laughs> I even sent messages on like my OnlyFans, being like, I am just. thinking thinking about Kristen eating me out right now and I just I need her to get here baby <laughs> I need her to get here because it's like then I gave a guy another shot eating me out I was like have you ever had two people eat you, eat you out at the same time no but that would that be fun. fun that's hot so imagine like <laughs> imagine like me and her for example so we're eating out at the same time so yeah. it's like two heads and like yeah, yeah. Uh, we're making out like that's the that's the fun. Pretty wide. oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so two two tongues at the same time like that's that's good that That's would be, crazy. it would be fun, especially That's if people know what they're doing, but like a lot of guys, they think that their tongue goes like in and out of the vagina or they yeah. don't know where the clit is. The worst is. is when they yeah. think they're like, their <laughs> when they think they're on, but it's like to, just to the side and I'm like, this is, I don't do know you, how to tell Do you him, prefer fat pussies or porn star pussies? Or do you even have what's a, a porn? What's a porn star pussy? A it's porn star like, pussy like, is like, like, like really done, tight, like not a lot of skin in that area. Like surgery. They look pretty. Yeah, so here's what, porn star pussies I think are, more fun to look at, but I hear fatter pussies are more fun to fuck. That's just what I've heard. Yeah. That's there, what there's I mean. so many different variables because yeah. so many girls have different depths of their vagina, different textures, different wetness. Yeah. So ultimately, like that outside appearance doesn't really yeah, doesn't. make a difference as much. Yeah. So it's really what's on the inside, as they say. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So some girls just have wider set vaginas, yeah. mean girls. Yeah. There's some girls like, you'd be, you'd be surprised like, 
some of the smaller girls I've had sex with, like girls that are under five foot, like they have, I wouldn't say loose, I'm not gonna be mean, but like, Looser vaginas? Big vaginas for little girls, like small wow. girls, that's small girls that I've experienced. They can take the big dicks. So that's that's why I'm like shot. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's crazy. Wild. yeah. What's it called when they like you can spin them? Spinners. What? Spinners. <laughs> oh, like you spin like them sit, on the dick. They sit on your dick and then they just spin them. That's how I heard I have the best anal is if you like the dick isn't going in and out because that causes hemorrhoids, but if you just spin on the penis, is that is that no, I've never true done or false? It. During so, anal. Yeah, during anal, like you just spin and kind of like rotate instead of going in and out so it doesn't cause hemorrhoids. Yeah, because if you're spinning, well, it depends. Uh, if you're spinning, it's hitting different zones, uh -huh. erogenous zones. Um, obviously with penetration, you're getting more friction. So yeah. that basically, it's basically a, a blister. Are you a big anal guy or more? Not so, not so much, not yeah. so much. I yeah, just, I mean, I, I, like I, I shoot, I shoot anal scenes. Like, I don't really do anal in my personal life. It's just you know that they're gonna poop at some. point. Yeah, there's always like. And then you can't poop right for like. Yeah, two it's. I only, I've only accidentally done anal once. I did it twice. And it just got out of my vagina and then went straight in my mouth. Yeah, that, that happens. Yeah. And I started because his dick was small, so when he was thrusting it, like it just thrust it right in my yeah. asshole. And then I was pooping blood. I couldn't sit down for a few days. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. And then his friends started yelling at me like, you're a whore. And I'm like, like at bars and stuff. And I'm you like, these crappy guys. Like, oh, cause you fucked you in the ass. <laughs> I was like, excuse me, your friend has a small dick. Why don't we focus on the real issues yeah. here? <laughs> well, my fault, you can't keep it in the right one. So what are, do you have against getting a vasectomy to prevent you from having kids? At least for now. Cause I want to have kids. Yeah, but you can get it reversed. It's always a hundred percent. I'm not worried about it. You're not worried. So if you have a kid right now, would you stop porn right now and like take care of that kid full time? Of course. What's your wow. opinion? Wait, what, can I ask a question yeah. about that on that topic? What was your opinion if like, like you got another girl pregnant with, your, with the relationship? Like would you, like how would you Oh, so if, if I'm in a relationship and I get like a porn and, girl yeah, pregnant? Like, yeah, like during a porn scene. Well, it de I guess it depends on who and the like girl- she wants to keep it. I guess it depends on who the girl is. Cause like I have better, like I'm close to some of the girls or some of the girls, like it's the girl I just meet. So if, yeah. hopefully if that ever happens, it's someone I have a friendship with. So yeah. it would be like, cool. Like, like I'm cool with the mom. Co yeah. Like, yeah. So it, I guess it's situational. Would you um, say you're polyamorous? Uh, if my partner's down with it. Yeah. Okay. Got yeah. it. But I like, I would prefer to have, you know, o like not open, but a, a female partner that would want to hook up with other girls. Okay, yeah, got it. So yeah. a lot of threesomes. I love I, threesomes are my absolute favorite. That's my specialty, I'd say. Really? Yeah. I had one threesome. I was freshly eighteen, and it was actually with the guy I was hooking up with, best friend, because I would have got pissed with the guy I was hooking up with. I didn't want to see him fuck another girl, so I did it with one of his friends. <laughs> oh god, it sounds so <laughs> fucked up. You whore. <laughs> <laughs> it was like right before I was going to college, and I'm like, I need a threesome before I go to college. I was watching a lot of Blue Mountain State. I, was <laughs> I like, love I Blue Mountain State. <laughs> That's why I bought a pocket. You, you see on the pocket pussy? Yes, that I like. I was doing kind of long distance with a guy. We weren't like boyfriend yeah. girlfriend, but like dating. And I sent him a pocket pussy. <laughs> I was I was in college when Blue Mountain State came out, and I bought a pocket pussy. Yeah. And a funny story with this. So I was on the track team in college, so I would uh -huh. travel a lot during the spring. Every weekend, to go to different college, yeah. different state. And I was living in the fraternity house that year. It was my junior year. And like word got out, I had a pocket pussy. They knew. Yeah. And I get back from one of my trips and I go to use my pocket pussy and it's gone. Uh huh. So like, so all right, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> With same premise as like Blue Mountain State. Yeah. Like someone stole his pocket <laughs> pussy and he was Everyone like- Everyone got syphilis. Yeah. So someone stole my pocket pussy, it was gone. And then like a couple months later at Brotherhood, it came like someone was drunk, like, oh, like Alan stole your pocket pussy. <laughs> so like I ended up like finding out who stole it. Uh -huh. He fucking snuck in my window because my door was locked, snuck Ew. in the window and oh stole god. it and he was using it. Oh my god. Months. Would yeah. you still use it after he used it or you just wanted a new one? Why wouldn't you I, just go buy his own? No, yeah. I, I don't I don't fucking know, fucking weirdo, but no, I, I didn't take it back. But he, like, he actually, so like, you know, like Rush, you have like big brother, little brother. Yeah. So he actually gifted that to like his little brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, so it, it stayed in the, fa it stayed in the family, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't like pocket pussies. I'm not a. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like a uh, sauna. Yes. I don't like the real, I like the real thing. Yeah. yeah. But I want to get my pussy molded. I wanted to do that, but it just, it's like, it doesn't do the inside of your vagina. It's just the outside. And I feel like I, I just have a fatter pussy and I don't really want to. Everyone, every guy I've ever hooked up with is like, like always been, like, every time he finished, he's like, oh my God, you're pussy. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. So I'm like, maybe yeah. I should make a market out of that. <laughs> like, oh yeah. Sell it. But during I got a this guy. threesome I was in, <laughs> so this, 
I had this guy and my friend from rehab, actually. And then this guy who, he was like one of my good friends too. And I'm like, let's just all have a threesome. So we had a threesome. And then I got so bored during the threesome. I got my clothes and just left. And then she was- Was it that bad? It wow. was so bad. And he, to this day, is like, that is the best thing I've ever done in my life. I'm like, I left the threesome. And then the girl left because she saw I was leaving because we were both having such a bad fucking time. <laughs> All right. So since you like, sorry to cut you off. But oh, you're good. You're talking about bad times and threesomes. Like, what can you tell the guys out there? Like, what makes a good threesome? Like what a can they do? What can they do to make a good threesome? You need to be paying attention to both girls yeah, and stimulating both girls. Because basically, what was happening? He would fuck one of us, and one of us would just be there diddling just ourselves, sitting. and then he would fuck the other one. He's like, sit on my face, and I'm like, you are god fucking awful at sitting yeah. on. Uh, yeah, very selfish. Oh my god! I mean, we. I was 18. He was 19. Like, oh, that says a lot. It yeah. just, you know. And, and that's something I, I kind of. There's a learning curve with that. Um, because he was just so excited. He's like, oh my God, oh my God, I get some, to fuck these girls. Cause sometimes in porn, like, you know, if there's two girls, sometimes you might like a girl better than the other one. So yeah. I've, I've caught myself in the scene, like, you know, enjoying myself more with one girl, making the other girl feel like left out. Yeah, that's what happens. So it, it naturally happens sometimes, but like now I'm more professional about it. Like I try to give equal attention and like, yeah, cause you know. the thing is he had fucked me before already. And he hadn't fucked her before, so he was. So it was, a lot it was more new to him. Excited yeah. about, it. yeah. So for he sure. was a lot more excited to fuck her than me. And I'm like, I'm the one that brought you this threesome. I'm the one who suggested it. You would not be here if it wasn't for me. So I was like pissed and left. So here's the thing with guys. There's yeah. there's no better pussy than new pussy. That's just for most guys. Like that's so interesting I, I'm, I'm, to me. Like it's, it's it's true. I can speak yeah. for a lot of guys. Like it's just like the the chase. Like guys okay. like like new things. So that's why yeah. like men cheat because they're just like we're fucking guys. We're fucking hornballs. Yeah. Oh God! Do you think all men cheat? No, no, no. There's, like, there's good guys out there. It was there. a no. meme. It was like uh, Kim Kardashian got her tits done, her butt done, her face done, and Kanye and still has cheated. Of dollars and men still cheat. It's like ladies, she's live your richer. Best life. <laughs> she is richer than Kanye, and he still cheated. Money's not going to keep a guy around. That is just fucking crazy. Kim Kardashian, the sex symbol, gets cheated on. Khloe Kardashian cheated on. Well, I mean Tristan Thompson. Uh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. All people, I like. I mean, all NBA players cheat, but that's just so fucking crazy. Um, all right, let's play a game. Let's play a game. Okay. Lyle, the motherfucking oh, gecko. Yes. <laughs> all right, this is a game called Dirty Minds. You guys are supposed yes. to guess what the card is referring to. Okay. So, I don't want to. All right, let's go. When my basket is stuck in front of you, you have to put out. Coming inside me can be a religious experience. I usually have a big organ. When you give it to me, it's tax-free. The Pope has a big one. Hey, ladies first. Um, the first one, the religious one is coming inside me. Wait, what was it again? The first, what was the first Oh, one? coming inside me can be a religious experience. I think that one. Well, no, no, like you're supposed to guess what this is oh, referring is that to. Answer choices? Oh. Yeah, you have to guess what it's referring to. All right, do them again. I was like, okay, I thought do they were like yeah. the answers it's, it's we're choosing. From. Okay, when my basket is stuck in front of you, you have to put it out. Or you have to put out. Okay. Coming inside me can be a religious experience. I usually have a big organ. When you give it to me, it's tax free. The Pope has a big one. Dick? No, wait. I don't know, you guess. I mean, it's I a church. Guess. It's a church. We're moving on. Do you get it? Church. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. Now. I didn't know the rules before. I was like, I was like, do I pick one? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. This is the next one. Later, you can have me for sloppy seconds. I come in your mouth on national holidays. If I get too hot, I can get a little dry. The bigger my breast size, the more you want me. After you eat me, you have to undo your pants. Thanksgiving. What? Turkey. There you go. I'm so bad I'm so bad. <laughs> okay. You'll find me hanging below your belt. You have to open your zipper to get me off. If I'm too tight, it's hard to get me off. Underwear. Boxers. Panties. Almost. If I'm too small, you can't get me up. If I'm really long, I could drag on the ground. Tampon? No. Um. You were you were like, so close, huh? Shoe? No. It's below shoe. the belt. Below below the belt. Socks? No, it's it's closer to underwear. 
boxers? Pants. 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 <laughs> Is it really pants? Yeah. <laughs> There's something else saying like below, like underneath, like below yeah. the surface. All right, I'll do one more. I'm a four letter word. I end in uck, U C K. I can help Fuck. you grow a huh? <laughs> Fuck. I can help you grow a big bulge in your pocket. When I go down on you, it can be expensive. Buck? Yeah. <laughs> I think I got one. All right, that was the last Sorry, one. You got it. You're good. You're good. Rockstar. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for coming on. Plug yourselves. <laughs> Well, plug yourselves. Oh, plug like our. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm Honey Bear uh, on all platforms, even OnlyFans. So it's H V and N Y Bear underscore. My name is Spencer Barrick. You can find me on Instagram at Spencer Michael Barrick. And if you want to find my naughty stuff, you can go to my Twitter at Spencer M Barrick. And OnlyFans, it's Damon Dice. Eight. Hey. Uh, so you can find that. me on It's Deals, I T S D E E L C dot com. See you next time. <laughs>